Hello, how to batch print from an FTP site with Batch Imprint Pro. Now I have an example FTP site here, which is public available. It's just an anonymous login. You can navigate to it and I want to download in this case licenses from this path exactly. So I want to download and print these TXT files in this folder and automatically print them in any new files that appear. So to do this, you can do it with Bash and Print Pro. So you first install Bash and Print Pro, you go into Options menu, Direct Remote Setup, Activate Monitoring. So I'm going to set Scan to every five seconds. I'm going to print to this default printer here, but you can choose any printer you want by clicking on Printer. Okay. So I just want to print file type .txt. Note this is case sensitive as well. If you want, say dot txt large case as well you can do txt with a pipe in between you can do as many as you want then for different things i'm just going to do txt now click on email ftp settings in here i want to turn on ftp monitoring now it supports secure ftp ftps as well but in this case it's just a standard ftp server so I'm going to put in my FTP address in here. I'm going to check FTP logs. It doesn't repeat print. So it doesn't keep downloading the same files and repeat printing them. I'm going to put it in this folder here like that. I'm not going to check anything else. And that's it. I'm going to click save and exit. Click add to list. So monitor path is empty at the moment. So I need to set location where to download them to. So I'm going to download to this folder here to print them out. Click add to monitor list. Okay. So that's all set up. You can see settings across there. Save and exit. So this should now work. So it's accessing the FTP. You can see it's starting to download the files. So if I go on here, you can see actually working away. I'll resize it. Just going down each one until it gets to the very end. And then it will start printing them. So you can see it's printing them now. And then you've got your prints on your printer. So once that is complete, it will scan another five seconds again to check there's no more. And I'll just keep doing that over and over and over again. And it's that simple to use. Give it a try.